Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we're going to go over how we can work with PDFs and read data from PDFs using Cypress. This was a video requested by a viewer, and it's a really good one to show. Now, I do want to start off by saying this is not something we can directly do just using Cypress. We're going to need some help from external packages, and that's why I'm going to be using this PDF Pass package, which basically allows us to um, extract data from a PDF file. You can actually scroll down here as well and you can see a bunch of different things you can do it in, in the examples. So you've got like look at the number of pages, information, metadata, metadata versions, and even the text. Of course, I think the text is going to be the main one we're going to be working with today, but uh, you do have these other options as well. It's definitely worth having a look at this documentation just for a bit of guidance on what you can do with things. But I'll try to cover a lot off in this video as well. So the first thing we want to do then is install the package. I already have it installed, but if you didn't, all you've got to do is copy this, go to your test pack, run npm install, and all should be good. And when you go to your package JSON, you should see this PDF pass dependency. Brilliant. So before we actually jump into the code and what we're doing then, I want to touch on why we're doing things inside the Cypress config file and, and why it wouldn't work directly just inside a test. So in Cypress, your JavaScript code, which is executed within a test file, runs in the context of a browser. That means it's not run in the context of a Node.js environment. So what this means is you can't directly use Node.js modules like the file system one which is what we're actually going to need to do because we need to get access to read in the pdf so to recap on that it's because your cypress test code runs in a browser instead of running in the context of a node.js environment now cypress have identified this problem and they've created a kind of workaround for the limitation and that's where tasks come in. So it's a feature in Cypress called tasks. If you've actually seen uh, my previous video about reading from CSVs, you're going to see the same thing. This is why we went down the task route in that. But that'll basically allow you to execute your Node.js code in the context of a Node.js environment. And that enables us then to perform the tasks that require that Node.js specific functionality, such as reading or writing of these files using the file system module. And what it means then by using these tasks, we can create custom commands that are going to be executed in that Node.js environment, then the response from that will be communicated back to your Cypress test code in the browser. So that's how they can kind of fit together. So I'm going to actually go back to the documentation and I'm going to take these top two lines because we're going to want to take this. Let's just paste these at the top. And what I also want to do is I want to make use of a path. So I'm going to say const path equals require a path. Perfect. So all, we do, all we've done at the moment is just importing a bunch of modules that we're going to be needing to use inside our task. This may be familiar if you have seen my CS, CSV read video, but we're going to say set up node events. And we're going to say on and config. And then we want to add a task inside here. So we're going to say on task. And here we're going to want to do some things inside this. So first of all, we want to name what we want the task to be. So I'm going to name this, uh, should I say read PDF? And we're going to pass through the PDF path, which is going to come, of course, from the, the test file, because you might want to change it directly in your test, which is adding a bit. You don't really need this. You could hard code if you want, but we're going to add a bit of dynamic parameterization in here so you can change if you want to read from different pdf files and this is where it's going to become a little bit more where it's going to become different from this example because what we want to do is we want to return a promise so basically to make sure that the functionality actually finishes what we're doing we're going to wrap it we're going to wrap it inside a promise it means then even if even if it takes time we will still wait for it to finish the reading of our PDF. So why I said that is because we're going to say return new promise. And in here we want to say what the resolve will be. And this is why working with promises is very important in 
javascript and in cypress because with the javascript if it doesn't return if it returns too quickly and the promise hasn't been resolved then it'll catch it for you here and it'll tell you and it'll wait for that or we'll wait for the timeout on it and of course i've missed this here so you got the promise and we'll say uh, the parameter of resolve inside here. And now we can do stuff inside. So first of all, I'm just going to get the actual file. So we'll say const file path equals path, which is where we now use in this import. Dot resolve, and we're just going to say it's going to resolve to the PDF path. So that's what we're going to be passing in from our test. We want to make sure that's right. And it makes it a bit more dynamic as we talked about. We then want to do the data buffer part where it's actually going to read from the file. So I'll say const data buffer equals file system read file sync. And we'll say file path. Okay, so that we've passed the file from the file path into the data buffer. And now we want to do something with the PDF. So this is where we can actually use the PDF pass module to say PDF pass through data buffer, which is what we want to be reading from. Then and we want to call it a function where data is coming from it. And in here, so here we just want to resolve that data, which means then inside of test is where we're going to control what we want to do. Now, in here is where if you know you only ever want like the text, you could say like data dot text information or whatever it was in the in here. Yeah, so you could say just data dot text and I'd return it. But in this case, I'm going to just going to return everything. So inside our test, we have the option of what we actually want to call from this. But just to recap, all we've done here then is we've just set up a new task read called read pdf that's going to return a promise which means it's going to wait for everything to be complete and finish what we want to do and then as long as everything has been fine and we've got data inside our pdf we should see that the returned response will be all of the data which then we can perform those actions on that you saw in the documentation on the pdf pass page awesome so let's go into our test then so i'll go into example side.js we don't actually need this visit because we're not actually doing anything on our web page in this so i'll just remove the commit to quality website and inside here then i just want to say side.task we need to say now what we actually what task we want to use and we only have one so it'll be read pdf remember the task also was to take in a parameter which was the location of our pdf so in our case it's top level so that should be here and it's i'm gonna actually gonna rename and copy this so i don't have any typos so we've got that in there and what we should say then is we want to chain from the then method and we want to read from the data so i say function data and let's do whatever we need in here. So um, tell you what, we'll just we'll just do the the, the data text sec. So we can use side dot logs. So we can output what we need, and I'll say data dot text, and let's save that. So remember, this one is going to return the text in the PDF. So let's give this a go. Let's clear this down. Cypress open. Hit enter. Let's go into the actual test and let's see some of the, the logs being output. There we are. So we've got all the text. So if we go back to our PDF, we've got this is a small, a, a simple PDF file. This is a small demonstration. It's got a bunch of text on here. If you go back, it matches up with what we see in here. So it's as easy as that to log out just the text. Now then, let's just add some of the other ones just to show that we can do more than just read the text. So it's going to pick on a few that I know off the top of my head rather than go to the documentation so we've got a number of pages um we, we could do uh what else do we add uh version i think we had a metadata one now then with those let's just save that and we'll rerun uh the cypress open 
And what you can see now is a bunch of extra logs. So uh, if we just move this over a tiny bit, we can see the text is output, the number of pages being two, version is 1.1.100, and the metadata that is none, so it's returned null. Of course, like I said, you can also go to the, the documentation and this will give you everything else you want. But that's really it from reading from the PDF file. As always, do you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is appreciated if you are finding my content useful as well. I have enabled super thanks where you can help support me. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good day.